Hi, doing a review on the Vask Ultra SST. It's a running shoe for technical trail running. And um, in my research, I was looking for a shoe with a BOA system. And because I'm one of those overzealous consumers, I figure if these trail running shoes were designed for rugged terrain and obstacles and things of that nature, it shouldn't have any problems handling what I got when you know running, you know, putting them on and going to my vehicle and driving to the gym or running around on pavement and concrete in the city. So um, I did some research and I came across these shoes. I like the color, I like the design, and it had a boa lacing system, which is something I was interested in. And uh, in my research, I discovered that Vasque. Um, is a sister company of Red Wing and uh, I did another review on Red, Ring con Red Wing construction shoes that I use which is by far the most comfortable pair of shoes I have and I've worn those shoes for 8 to 12 hours on end every day uh, for a period of time um, without any you know any soreness in my feet in my my calf muscles, my quads, my butt, my lower back, nothing. Uh, after years of buying cheaper, you know, outlet type stores, shoes. So, being confident that um, Vask is, uh, is a sister company to Red Wing, you know, it intrigued me even more. Um, so, the price for this was like uh, $170. That's, a mark. That's what they have the... Uh, the MR, MRSP at but I purchased these for like $125 online um, it was on sale and um, got it home now my first impression when I took it out of the box is it is as you see it online now a lot of reviews are online uh, but it's done by more the professional runners and I am not one of those um, so you know they will discuss some other things that you might want to look at if you look plan to get these to do trail running um, one of the first things I realized with these shoes I wear a size 8 to 8.5 and, and I bought these at a size 8 and they fit really uh, they actually fit perfectly on my feet uh, there's there is still space to the front and when looking down at the shoe it has a funny look to it but it allows your, your, your toes to spread out a little bit which is fine. It may look funny you know, compared to um, a more narrow shoe, such as the MBTs, which is a little more narrow to the front. But um, you know, these—that's fine. You know, it, it, it's fine by me, for me. Now, one of the features of these shoes that you that you should be aware of if you plan to purchase this shoe is that it's not um, this is all synthetic material so if you have cats they will chew on the um, this piece in the back here we use the hook to pull it onto your feet um, within an hour of me having the shoes at home my cat jumped on it right away and started chewing up this part fortunately I got I was in the room at the time so she didn't do too much damage and I can still use it because it has the felt in, in inside, which is uh, gives it a, a certain level of strength. Thank goodness, because I would have been pissed. Um, putting on a shoe is not easy uh, because it fits like a glove. Um, so the technique I use is that I hook my finger on here, slide my foot in, and shimmy it all the way up, and then I pull back on this and up. And that usually uh, seems to allow my feet to pop in uh, better. Um, I've tried these with uh, with thick socks, and I've also tried them with dress socks. And with dress socks, they slide under the feet a lot faster and smoother. Um, the lacing system at first, when I first put it on, I didn't think it was necessary. It fitted so snug already. But I laced it up. I tightened it up anyway. This this. Um, bore system pops out to release you snap it in and it tightens down that way um, but I tightened it down and I did feel a little bit of discomfort right here this area uh, in the beginning um, but over time I believe this 
I don't know what this is supposed I thought originally thought it was metal but it might be a really hard plastic because it, it uh, stretched out a little bit in the beginning I all I had to do was turn it three to four times and it was fine now I have to turn the um, the locking mechanism seven times to tighten it down my feet and um, there's still a little bit of a shifting in it now but it's um, it's not bad uh, lacing system a regular standard lacing system might hold a little bit tighter um, the downside to the boring system the bore system is that down here everything tightens up at once so it may feel real tight up here and it will be loose down here uh, whereas with a regular lacing system you can actually pull here a little tighter and pull here and adjust it and uh, that might work that's that's the only downside to this bore system but overall it works for what I do I don't run trails I definitely don't do technical trails I go to the gym and I run around the track the indoor track or I may run around uh, the concrete or this asphalt here in the city where I live um, the undersole, you know, I have worn it quite a bit. Still work, I wear these every day. Um, um, it's uh, winter now, but I still wear these when there's no snow or anything on the ground. And they, you know, they, it does uh, release air and stuff from up here. So it's not really a winter shoe, but I'm not out in the cold that long. So it works fine for me. I put it on, walk to my vehicle, turn on the heat, and drive off. You know, and these are, these are perfectly fine. Um, running in them, uh, they're very cushiony, very, very cushiony. Um, it conforms to anything you step on. I've stepped on rocks, gravels, and things like that deliberately to see how it feels. And there's no real impact on anything when you the bottom of your feet. But you know, you get good feedback that you did step on something, uh, which is great. And I believe that was the intent for these shoes. They don't feel high off the ground. Even though it's, I think there's a six millimeter drop, from what uh, from other reviews, um, they feel like regular shoes, except it has a nice low, you know, the bore system which I wanted, and um, it's a really bright color. Um, so uh, if you're interested in buying a pair of these, that's a, uh, make sure, buy it to your size. You don't need to go a size up. If you wear a size eight, buy a size eight. If you're size eight and a half, buy an eight and a half. They will fit. And, um, you know, running in them is cushioning, uh, good cushioning on it. Uh, you know, if you feel still feel pain or anything like that in your joints, I mean, in your shins and, and areas like that, chances are is that your muscle um, is weak ar around the shins and really doesn't have anything to do with the shoe itself. I know that was the case for me, but I've since been working on that. Um, one last thing, there is some stitching on this, and though, though it's not a double stitch pair of shoes, um, it seems to be holding up pretty good for what I do. Um, I've run the inside track, I've run around the cemetery where I live with these, which is like a two mile run on concrete and asphalt, and um, I've played basketball in them, and they were great. So, and they're holding up really good. And again, it's a VASC Ultra SST sister company's Red Wings. Red Wings make really comfortable shoes. So, um, and these did not disappoint. I hope that helps.